adverse effects of aromatherapy? Yeah, irritation, rash, allergy, anything else? Yeah. Irritation. Irritation, rash, allergy, death. <laughs> that, I'm going to ask this question. I mean, I, I'd never heard of it. Anybody know that anybody that's died from aromatherapy? <laughs> <laughs> any other any other problems? Citrus oils, that's a clue. Cold pressed citrus oils. Yeah, yeah. So cold pressed citrus oils contain a group of chemicals called furocoumarins, yeah, which are phototoxic. What that means is that if you put uh, uh, an essential oil with furocoumarins in it that's been cold pressed, when you distill, it usually takes them out. But if you have furocoumarins in there, you put it on your skin, it's fine, no problem. But when you get go into bright sunlight, yeah, particularly if you use the oil in the same place, yeah, what happens is it causes a reaction between the furocumarins in your skin, and your skin may turn black. Yeah, and the first time it was noticed was with uh, people using perfumes behind their ears with a lot of bergamot. Yeah, this is going back 40, 40 plus years. Yeah. And they found out they were suffering, they were getting these little dark patches yeah, where they put perfume regularly. Uh, usually temporary. And uh, I know this because a company that I'm a consultant for, they produce kaffir limes oil. And they produce kaffir limes extract for Unilever. Yeah? And they cold press the, the kaffir limes fruits. And when they started to do this, because it, it started off small, they were doing it by hand. And the workers were working outside, yeah? And they were getting arms that were black from here to their, yeah, to their fingers. And then as soon as they stopped, then it cured up, it, 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 it cleared, yeah? But not good long term, because the, the furocumarins are thought to be carcinogens uh, if used long term. Yes, that's ex Yeah. It is overkill. Unfortunately, in the last couple of years, I mean, they've been talking about this for 10 years, but over the last couple of years, it's been, become a hot subject. And now, um, the limit for furocumarins in a finished product has been set at one part per million. Orange oil may contain 400 parts per million. Lemon oil may contain even 600 parts per million. So it effectively means that you cannot make 4711. Yeah, because the main ingredient for 4711, orange and lemon and bergamot, yeah. And you can't really get furocumarin orange oil or furocumarin lemon oil. I'm looking for them now, but uh, as far as I can find out, it, you can't really distill the orange oil or the lemon oil without causing problems with the smell. Yeah, Because uh, the main ingredient is delimonene, and delimonene doesn't like heat. What do you replace it with? Because it's fine if they want synthetic, but if you want a natural blend containing only natural essential oils, what do you replace lemon with? Yeah? Can't replace it with orange because it's got the same problem. Yeah? 
the legislation at the moment is, is getting tighter and tighter and tighter, and most companies don't know really what to do, you know? Okay, so photo, phototoxicity. The other thing is that nobody is sick for the lack of essential oils. Essential oils are not vital to our bodies. So when we put essential oils on our bodies, they're absorbed by the body, the body uses them and then has to get rid of them. Where does it, how does it get rid of them? The Through the liver and the kidneys, yeah. So this is just a, a tip because it comes up quite a lot for, for us. <laughs> Ralph Harris. <laughs> Guess what that was? Everything has to go and come out through the. Now, imagine that if you give somebody a whole body massage with a high concentration of essential oils, the absorption into the bloodstream is very high. Yeah? If you, if you ma use a massage oil at the therapeutic level of one, one and a half or two percent, yeah, then it doesn't have a nice smell for the massage. Yeah? So, um, some of the spas that I've worked with, yeah, I've recommended that what they do is they use the three percent solution here so you get that feeling of the smell, but when they move down the body, dilute it down to about 1%, yeah, with the, a bland carrier oil to reduce the impact on the kidneys. Somebody who goes for a massage once a year on holiday, it's not a big problem, but I, I know people that go for massages like twice a week, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, like the uh, traditional Thai massage, obviously that's not a problem. But uh, for aromatherapy massages, yeah. yeah. So that one was uh, kidney liver yeah. overload. 